Hello once more. Let's talk about kinetic energy. And kinetic energy has to do with the energy of motion. Okay, kinetic energy is going to be an object in motion, a particle in motion, as opposed to potential energy. Potential energy is the energy that you have when you are in a certain place. You're about to move. Now, kinetic energy is the one that you have when you are moving. This energy, you are moving forward, moving backwards, up, down, as long as you are in motion. And it says that kinetic energy equals half times the mass times velocity squared. Let's shorten this equation so we can work for the variables. So this is what I get when I shorten the equation. Kinetic energy equals half times the mass times the velocity. And how do we work these variables? Or what are the values of these variables? Let's label them. Okay, so half is just half. However, how do I measure the mass? And the mass will be measured in kilograms. Okay, kilograms is what we use for the mass. How about velocity? We use velocity in the units of meters per second. Meters per second is what we use. So there we have it. Uh, energy, of course, any energy we measure in joules. You should know that by now. And if you don't, well, welcome to it. So there we have it. Joules for energy, half is just half. Kilograms for mass, meters per second for velocity. Okay, shorten. The shortened addition of that is this. Kinetic energy equals half times the velocity, times the mass, velocity squared. Well, this half could be a little confusing, so let's change that. And let's call that, instead of half, let's call that over 2. Okay, let's call that over 2. And let's get rid of that half, which could be confusing. Now it's easier to work. There you have it. Kinetic energy equals mass times velocity squared divided by 2. I could solve for different variables based on this equation. What if I am solving for mass? So if the question asks me to solve for mass, I will leave mass alone, and I will bring 2 up. Okay. I will divide that by, let's extend that if we can, over here. I will divide that by the velocity squared. So now, this equation is working for mass, and I have 2 times kinetic energy divided by the velocity squared. Okay, back to the original. What if I need to solve for velocity? Okay, if the question asks me to find velocity, I will leave, veloc I will leave the V alone. And I need to get rid of everything else, such as the 2, the mass, and the square of that. Therefore, if my question asks me to look for velocity, I will leave velocity alone, and I will bring the 2 up again. If you notice, I haven't touched KE K yet. Okay, I will divide that by the mass. But now, what I have here is a square. Okay? So I need to find the square root of everything so that I could get rid of that square. Square root. Okay. Now, the square root just now is going to get rid of the square on the V. Now, what do I have? I have the square root, okay, the square root of, there you have it, 2 times kinetic energy divided by mass. So this is what I get when I'm solving for V. I get the square root of whatever 2 times kinetic energy is divided by the mass. Okay, it's time to do some examples. The question says, what is the kinetic energy of a toy car with 30 kilograms, it's a heavy toy car, okay, moving at 2 meters per second, very slow. Let's see. So I will have, first of all, I will place my equation, okay, because 
Without it, I can't do much. I am looking for kinetic energy. I have the mass, velocity, which I will square, and I have the two. So plug is, plugging the values down. I have the mass, which is 30 kilograms, times velocity square, and the velocity is two. If the velocity is two, I square that, that gives me four. And I will divide it by the two, okay? Because I'm looking for half of that. Okay, what do I have now? I have 30 times four divided by two. I could simply get rid of or break this in halves, okay? And I get two now on top instead of four. That makes it much easier. So then I have 30 times two. And 30 times two gives me 60, okay? That would be 60 joules because it is energy. And I have 30 times two, 60 joules. I got rid of the two, okay, and the four. I simplify those, makes my equation much easier. Let's do one more sample. The question says, what is the velocity of an object with mass of nine kilograms moving not moving, velocity of nine kilograms and 81 joules. Okay, so there we have it. It's got the mass, let's see how it says, the velocity of an object with a mass of nine kilograms and 81 joules. Let's get rid of this to make it proper. There you go. So I am looking for velocity. I need to look for the crazy equation. Let me go back to the top here. This one was dealing with velocity. Let's copy this equation. Okay, and let's bring it down. Now I am looking for velocity and I just need to plug in my values now. And I have, let's copy this over here. So I have an, I have an umbrella now, there we have it. So I have two because I have a two here. So I have a two and I have kinetic energy, kinetic energy of 81. So it's two times 81. And I'm dividing by the mass, the mass is nine. So let's divide by nine. There we have it. Okay, it is time to use calculators. And I have two times 81 divided by nine. Plug in your values and see what you get. So when you plug in the values, what you end up is the square root of 19, of 18, sorry. The square root of 18, there you go. Square root, let's make that a little nicer. That's what you get, okay? Of course, if we get the square root of, of 19, we end up with square root of 19, of 18, sorry. We end up with 4.2. So if we get the square root of, of, of 18, we end up with 4.24, 4 if we want to be more specific, okay? Looking for velocity, so it's meters per second. Okay, so there you have it. This question was dealing with looking for velocity. I had the energy, okay, kinetic energy. And I had the mass of the object. Let's just make this more specific, kinetic, just to be not thrown off, okay. And I plug in the values. So I have the square root of two times kinetic energy over the mass, plug in the values, that gives me 18, square root of 18, and I have 4.24. There you have it kinetic energy. I hope this helps you out.